Hey, two snowstorms in one week can only mean one thing. The Barrif is going to get on his channel and he's going to review some wine. I don't have enough time to go out and get a beer tonight, but I did pick up a bottle of uh, wine over the weekends. Had some people over for my uh, daughter's birthday and I grabbed a bottle of red and a bottle of white. And uh, I'm going to review the uh, red. Unfortunately, it's already opened. There's no cork in this uh, bottle. So I don't know if that makes it a cheap wine or what. Let me know in the comments. I'm even gonna get fancy and use an aerator. How about that? I think this thing is cool as hell. Makes a cool sound when you pour it. No idea what it does. I did read about it. Apparently it exposes the wine to oxygen and it brings out its flavors. So let me pour Cave and Cove's Vineyards into my glass, aerated of course, and we'll give this bad boy a taste. Put the cap back on, make sure it's on tight, no cork. Seriously, if a wine's not cork, does it make it bad? I'm not a wine connoisseur, so I don't know the answer to that question, but this uh, Cave and Cove Vineyards wine is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Hope I pronounced that right. This company is in uh, Livermore and Ripon, California. So California is known for its wines, right? Now let's see how this uh, bad boy tastes. Got it in my uh, vintage 1977 wine glass. Cause you know everything is better with age. So here we go. Cheers. I think you're supposed to do that when you taste wine, right? I'm not sure. I think you're supposed to smell it. it. Smells like wine. Definitely tastes it like wine. It's pretty good. Not really sure how to score wine, but since I score everything on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this Cave and Cove Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon. A 7 2. It's pretty decent. I think I'm going to get a few more bottles of this. I like red wine. I'm a red wine fan. I'm not a white wine fan. Had a real, real bad experience with white wine back in, I think, like 98, 99 on a uh, infamous house on Huntington Street. And I have seriously have not touched white wine since. Probably had something to do with the fact that I had a gallon of it in probably 25 minutes, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I just never touch it, and I probably will never touch it again. So I've been sticking the reds ever since, and I think the red's more healthy for you anyway. I think there's some uh, something that ends with an oids in there that helps out your uh, your heart. So we're going to go with that. 7-2 for the uh, Cave & Co. Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon. If everyone, if anyone's off because of the snows from tomorrow, enjoy your day off. I actually have work. I have to do a deposition at 10 o'clock. Thankfully, it's on Zoom. And thankfully, I'm only having this uh, one glass of wine, so it won't be too bad when I wake up. Till then, everyone, the barrister is out. I will see everyone again soon with another review. Have a great night. See ya.